Is not one of Hamuko's runes? Yeah. We're living on the second floor. You know Hamuko-san? A bit from years ago. Anyway, next is you Namba, age 41. Namba? You mean Namba was your real name this whole time? After that whole speech you gave me about homeless people using fake names? <sighs> Shut up. You believed it was fake. And that's what's important. You're just gullible. I'm what? Okay, okay. And the last guy is um, Koichi Adachi. Who's, wait, age 59? Hi. Yeah, only two months until I hit my retirement. But the um, Kanagawa police let me go a few days ago. That's rough. Huh. That's all? What's all? Yeah. I mean, we're a walking tree of red flags, aren't we? A bum, an ex-accuser, and a cop with a dishonorable discharge. What of it? If I was worried about stuff like that, I'd never find anyone to work for me. And besides, I just happened to have the perfect job for you three. And that is... Hope you're not going to make us clean the baths to kick uh, to kick things off. Nah, I only get that done every six months. What I'm really after is her. Her name's Nanoa. She's been my top earner for five years straight. That's the girl who called to take the day off and you blew at her. Right? Mm. Yeah, that's right. Mm. She a top earner, huh? Yeah, you weren't kidding about these girls being on there. Oh, never mind. I told you. If you're all going uh, for you... Uh, if all you're going for is cute and young, you'll never last. The core of a soapland's appeal is service and love. The emotional depth that makes a repeat customer. Emotions, huh? Guess I could see that. Men are lonely creatures when it comes down to it. Even guys who put up the toughest fronts need a place um, to be who they are. And the depth of a woman's ability to give him that is usually proportional to her own baggage. Now his father is an age where he can't even move um, on his own anymore. So she quit her job at a big firm and fell into the world, uh, fell into this world to afford him the best care. Mm -hmm. Skipping all the stuff between a white collar job and prostitution is a pretty brave leap. Mm. That's why she's so good at it. She gives it everything she has, no matter who the customer is, all for the sake of her father. But that being said, she's recently started finding reasons to take days off. Mm. It's never used to be the case, though. Between Bleach Japan and Nanoa taking days off, sales are really slumping. So that's why I need a hand. <laughs> a hand? Like, on the customers? Uh, listen. Mm. No, you idiot. I want you to look into why she's taking time off. Didn't she say herself it's because of an irregular period? I can't take that at face value, knowing her. There are a lot of reasons why someone who needs money starts taking a lot of time off. I think she's got a side place? Mm. A side piece? You do know this industry, don't you? Kids filling the class? Oh. You mean she could be meeting someone without going through the store? Normally a customer pays for a service and that's the money gets divided up between the girl and the shop. But if they meet in private, the girl get, can offer a discount and still come out on top by cutting the shop out. Once they start doing that, the girls start to wonder why they need a shop in the first place. Of course, all the shops have strict rules against that kind of thing. Even if it is just an innocent thing at first, once they get a taste for the extra cash, it doesn't stop. They'll even start using the shop to lure more customers out into their own business. It's the death kneel for some shops. So if I want you to find find out if she's seeing someone on the I want you to find out if she's seeing someone on the side. Okay. Let's say she is. What do we do if we find the guy? Make sure he never want wants to go near Nano Nano again. And I don't care what methods you use. You are a Yakuza, a nurse, and a cop. I'm sure you, you three can think of something creative. Hey, hold up. Shouldn't you be using the Serio clan for this kind of thing? Think of them like car insurance. If you use them the wrong way, they'll increase your premiums. So it's cheaper if you can solve the problems of myself. <laughs> huh. That's a boss for you. Always has a trick or two. Okay, can you tell us where she lives? <coughs> Actually, it seems she's been couch surfing for a while and hasn't gone home in quite some time. Oi. How the heck do we find her then? If we keep an eye on the pocket cafe, she'll show up. She hangs out there a lot. For the price of a cup of coffee, she can stay there for hours just to use the free Wi-Fi and charge her phone. Yeah. So I'll hope I'll hope for the best. Get stock coming back in regularly and I'll have a suitable payment for you. Okay. We have a mission. Sounds to me like he had us as cheap detectives. 
she's quite a schemer. He seems sloppy. But he knows his employees both on and off the clock. Doesn't that mean he's not a scumbag? He's bottom line, that's all he cares about? Yeah. I don't think so, actually. Huh? Maybe it's not true all the time, but yeah, most Uplands profit off their workers' misfortunes. You mean like their debt? Or their family's issues? They prey on people like that, right? Basically. The women work hard to get out of that situation, and the shop supports them. I'm not cool with the way uh, Naomi um, talks about people, but he's not sugarcoating anything either. He understands the reality of the business. Well, that's one way of putting it. I grew up surrounded by every kind of sleazebag in Camarucho could throw at you. And I bet this guy's actually got a lot of love for his girls. I take him any day over the some of the shitheads who don't care about the girls. Um, why the girls get jobs um, there in the first place. Well, that's just because I hate shit shitheads. Doesn't mean I like to uh, like sleazebags. So let's find this proof and get paid. Alright. But we still don't know for sure if she's seen a guy on the side. Let's start with this uh, with this cafe she supposedly goes to. Okay. That's a good start. We can also go here. And we can also save. Oh no, we are on chapter 4. Boys, we're actually almost um, to the point of where I want to be today. Bum, 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 bum. Oh shit, this actually might be a bad news. Oh, it's only level 13. We'll do a giant giga swing. Nice. You enjoying this? Yeah. I played this one before. This one's really good. This is probably my favourite. Oh my god. Dude, we took so much damage. Yeah, this is really good. We're playing on New Game Plus as well. Bum, 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 bum. Although I don't think it's going to take as long as I imagined to be. Because um, we're pretty high level already. <笑>うちは民主説じゃないってのに失礼しちゃうよ、本当。名作なのにな。お兄さん。<笑> ああ。いや、暗い中で小難しい映画とか見てると俺も眠くなっちまうんだよな。そうなったらなんか申し訳ないっつうか。大丈夫ですよ。古い映画イコール難しい映画ということはありません。SFやレンアイ、サスペンス
It was such a different pace compared to a Yakuza. Doesn't mean it's a bad game, it just means like it was a lot slower. But once it got going, it, it got good. It just took eight chapters to get good. Dude, 18 degrees in this room again now. My God. When we beat these as well, we'll start, we'll start, hopefully we'll beat them a couple of weeks before Final Fantasy. And then we can start Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry. Not played, de like, any Devil May Cry in quite a few years now. Right, we'll do it. Let's watch a movie, boys. Robocook. This is Steve's favorite. Plain drop shot. Ooh. Dude, it's so good. Does it have a ranked mode drop shot? あんたも一緒に見るのかよ。当たり前じゃないですか。好きな時に好きな作品を見られるのが支配人の特権なんですから。あ、そう。No. I remember when they added hockey, right? And it was that popular that they kept it in the game all the time. さあ、始まりますよ。Right, so the aim of this minigame is to stay awake because Robocop, Cook, not Cock, on all these films are really boring, I think. No, Robo Cook. Cook. C O O K. Cook. Right, here we go, boys. What does she need a cuckoo on? <laughs> it's just Robocop. Hey, that's the mode we were playing on Rocket League yesterday where you had to hit it in the floor. I live to cook. Oh my god, look at him. A badass cyborg who loves to cook. Alright, I'll bite. Hopefully, I can stay awake. Okay. Ram the Rams. Oh shit, you're not meant to hit them. Stage one. Clear.
<laughs> I know this is supposed to be an exciting scene, but him using that same technique over and over is going to put me to sleep. Uh oh. Final stage. Here we go. Have you ever been to the um, cinema before and had goats constantly bear? We did it. Uh, there's a select like we might as well try and do all the films now get a bit more XP or whatever That's a normal movie theater experience in the US don't they do it in the UK no They don't Sadly The secret ingredient is salt That's actually kind of touching. Tell you what, it's touching. Are you finishing that quest? There we go, we did it. We won. しかし、<laughs> <laughs> Secret ingredient is belly buttons. <laughs> and he fell asleep in his own movie. I think we can actually come here and do more. I'm sure there's a gold thing down here as well. Yeah, there is. Look. Ooh, a health ring. That's not too bad, you know. Watch with someone. Oh, we've already done these two. Oh my god, look, there's more. Right, watch this one, since we've done the other one. Look at his eyes going already. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, it's my sort of movie, boys. I think this got really hard last time. That's what she said. Oh yeah, you have to do rapid ones. I 
So why are they goats? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine, dude. <laughs> don't hit this guy. Yeah, I wonder what the meeting went like. <laughs> We're getting harassed by goats. <laughs> We're doing a COD series during the Sundays and I'm back on Black Ops 1. Yeah, the um, the, the campaigns are good, right? I, I liked Black Ops 2 as well, but I didn't really play many CODs after Black Ops 2. I've certainly not played any stories. Not even the one with Jon Snow. Jon Snow, bastard! Hopefully, um, when Activision games come on Game Pass, they add all the old CODs, and then we can do a COD series run at some point. And we'll wear sunglasses during the entire marathon. <laughs> Rush mode? Oh, no. I'm scared. Don't press anything. Hundred percent. One hundred percent. The best is still Modern Warfare Two, and Black Ops One is a close second. Yeah, Black Ops One is such a good campaign. Yeah, World at War's campaign was good. Medal of Honor Frontlines, alright as well. Although I really liked Rising Sun. Medal of Honor Rising Sun was such a good game back in the day. Oh, you've got to get the alarm clocks. I didn't realise I had to get the alarm clocks. I thought that we were, if we clicked on him, it went against us. Shit. There's a bunch more to see. Let's check out another one sometime soon. <gasps> they got Jaws! Dude, we're gonna watch Jaws. You're not meant to get them? Is that right? Are you sure? Landing on D-Date. Dude. See, I've not played the new Modern Warfare campaign. Boys, it's Jaws. Oh, it's Deep Blue Sea where Samuel Jackson gets eaten. Yep, 
Boy, should we see? Should we get the should we get the cock the the cocks this time? What am I about cocks? Um, should we get the the um thing this time? I don't know what they're called. Chickens. So I've got cock on the brain, boys. I realise it's garbage. What? Medal of Honor Frontline? Probably, dude. It did have a remaster, though. One of the um, Medal of Honors, like the new one that came out, um, got had like a, re a HD remaster, and that it still held up pretty well there. What do you mean? Dude, we're on fire. The best online, for me, I really enjoy Black Ops 2 online. It's the one I played the most anyway. I'd really love that. He's dancing away from the shark? What the fuck? Do we run out of the chicken? Always oh, gonna pop up during this. Huh? I guess in two circles. Come on, give me one more. Damn. Only zombies I ever played was Black Ops 3. Shadows of Evil was fun. Trolling around. Never played much zombies, really. I played a lot of it in Black Ops 2 because I played that all the time, but... Not in many other games, really. I did like it in Black Ops 3, though, from what I played. <laughs> Is he gonna get eaten? <laughs> Where the hell did that come from? Did they really want to kill off the main character that badly? I think they did. S rank boys. You've been playing Black Ops 3 again this week? Another one. A masterpiece about a journey in search of powerful wedding rings. It's supposed to be part of a series, but the sequel has yet to be announced. Let's watch it then, boys. Mouse still plays him. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> Both theaters make me sleepy as hell. 
He's on stream today because I wanted to play it. But it's 120 gig. So eventually I'll have to delete it because it's taking up too much room. But dude, th so there's some games like that on PlayStation. I think Death Stranding is quite a big a big one. And I know like um, Demon Souls. Dude, the, the, the chicken's not popped up yet. There he is. Dude, it's, it, uh, Call of Duty's have always been big. Remember, like, um, Warzone? Every time Warzone gets an update, it's like a fucking 60 gig update. It's ridiculous. It's disgusting. Well, the story sucks. None of it is getting through to me. I just wanted to play Battle uh, Battlefield, but by the time I got it, it was pretty much dead. Uh, Battlefield, um, the new one. Yeah, it's dead. It's, it's full of bots now. Dude, I really want Battlefront. I remember when the battle, the first Battlefront came out on next gen, well on PS4, I played that game to death. I thought it was really good. Uh oh. Man, <gasps> Fuck me in the dick. I didn't mean to get the chicken. You gonna save it for winter and get into it? Or are you not feeling it? Why are sheep what are sheep doing? I don't know, Paige. You're you're about as clued up as I am as to what these sheep are doing. And how are you doing, Paige, man? Your your pictures were amazing that you posted. Hope you had a nice time, mate. Mate used to say CODs. Uh, a big on purpose, so you have to delete everything off so you can only play pod. Dude, there actually might be something behind that, you know. We all, this is Kojima. Cinematography is amazing. Solid CGI too, but nothing's going to save it from this crappy story. Or this crappy dialogue. Wow. We still got S. Um, I used to play. You had a great camp? Oh, that's awesome. Think how old Black Ops 3 is. How is it supposed to be at the capacity of fucking Elden Ring? Yeah, this is crazy, right? Noob tube specialist. You're downloading Judgment. Mate. If you uh, believe me when I say this, play Judgment is really good at the end. But you have to go through a lot of shit. Just prepare to go through shit. But the, the combat's really fun. Right, we'll watch it with Adachi. This one, starring 
Il Eugene, this classic love story will have you both laughing and crying on the edge of your seat. Ladies, do yourself a favour and take your partner to see this. I deleted COD Warzone because I couldn't keep doing my library every time there was an update. It's 100 gig and needs an extra 100 gig free each update. Yeah, that's so bad. Remember back in the day when the Xbox came with 12 gig of, um, of memory when it first came out? The uh, Xbox 360. And then the P didn't the PS3, the original ones, come with 60 gig of memory? Right, boys, we've almost done this. You restored your old Xbox account? There you go. We had hundreds of games. Uh, Dave, what do I win for helping you restore your account? What do I get in return since I sent a message saying I'm about to come and that's the message that unlocked your Xbox account? I come here, open your mouth, <laughs> incoming missile. Come on. Splooge me. Oh. Fuck. Huh? You can take some really big high resolution photos. Yo, Paige, have you managed to play any Zelda, mate? Come on, Mr. Chicken. Huh? Fuck! Boys, I don't mean to fuck the chicken. Your roommate's girlfriend did get it, but you haven't borrowed it yet. Yeah, I remember you saying you didn't have one. Oh, that sucks, dude. To be honest, though, they're coming to the end of their life cycle now. You're probably best waiting for the next Nintendo, you know what I mean? Shit. We took a hit. Because it'll take seven years to beat. True. True. A 445-kilobyte photo and a 32-kilobyte game. Huh? That's pretty crazy. Blows my mind, missed nearly a whole Nintendo console. I hardly feel like I missed any games. There's not really anything that's exclusive though, other than Zelda. Mario Odyssey is pretty good. But yeah, I'm with you. I don't really. I don't think Switch or oh, this game. 
Eh. What? I thought you did miss the N64 emulator that's on it. Right, I'm done watching movies, boys. We'll do it later on, because we can bring party members and gain more stuff with them. Ooh, what's this? What's this cat thing? Right, hang on. DLCs? What are these? I didn't even do this. Oh my god, you could do judgment. Shit, this actually might be a tough battle, boys. Oh no, it's not the end of the world. They're all dead. Wii U has an N64 emulator, maybe more games. I have so many classic consoles. Games on Wii U. Actually, did add crazy subservice with all the games. Mate, we killed everyone. Yeah, I mean, I've just wished my Wii U actually fucking worked. Like, he had awful stick drift, and it was unbearable. And it would have cost me more than the fucking console, nearly, to get it fucking replaced. So I just thought, fuck it. Get rid of it. One shot seven people. Shen, and that's why this game's incredible. I mean, there's there's a lot of cool games though, isn't they, on Wii U though? Like, I really like the fucking. Um, I really enjoyed both Zeldas on it. Just to have it for that. Because the. GameCube Wind Waker's AIDS, right? True, yeah, they were GameCube games. So what you're saying is I should buy GameCube. Okay. I'll get a GameCube instead. <laughs> Sounds like you just need an N64. Um, yeah. Maybe. Fluffy's Pog, pass it on. Oh, thank you. Fluffy's Pog, pass it on. And then just PC. I've I've had every Nintendo console other than the NES and the Wii U. Well, no, actually, I have had a Wii U. I bought one recently. Hmm. 
I've got a backwards compatible Wii actually at my mum's. Paige, that's what I thought. That's what I always think. Maybe they should just do that. Because imagine if you could play like ev like Pokemon on an Xbox or a PC. Imagine like how good they could make those games. How much demand more demanding. How much more they could put in them. They could literally do a Pokemon game with like 2,000 Pokemon. They could have it Skyrim sized. But they choose to just literally squeeze as much out of the um, out of the system as they can and it's just all the Pokemon games now are just way too demanding but yeah the Switch is like the biggest selling console ever near enough right do you want to make everything available everywhere yeah imagine how many funny mods you could do on, with Zelda games on PC yeah, man, that would be so good. Yeah, that's why the Switch 2... That's one of the reasons why the Switch 2 isn't a thing, or whatever next. Because they just want it to be the number one selling console. It's pretty much up there. What is the biggest selling console ever? The PlayStation 2. I think closely behind, though, is the... Oh, no. It's way down. They should just fucking scrap it, mate. There's the PS2, the DS, the Game Boy, the PS4, and then the Switch. And global, it's 50 million units behind the rest. Which is crazy, right? Pigeon Storm! Eat him! Dude, I, I think my opinion of the... Oh no, that must be updated then. It's 20... It's 25... It's 25 million... No, six... 30 million behind the PS2. Dude, where's the Wii U on this list? The Wii U... The Wii U sold more than the Dreamcast. We go. Go to bed with that fact today. Don't look up the Wii U. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Paige. The best consoles sell the worst. I know. Look at the Ouya. Where's the Ouya on that list, boys? Boys, I have an Ouya. We could do an Ouya stream one day. Boys, the Ouya isn't even on here. That's how shit it is. The Ouya! Yeah, it's terrible. It's just an emulator console. Oh. Virtual Boy is not on the list. Dude, the, the retro shop in town has a Virtual Boy. It will be such a flex to have, right? But they're dog shit. Oh. PS2 is a cheap DVD player. Yeah. PS2 was great. That's probably, I would say, it's my favourite console. I mean, I, I own two PS2s now. 
Dude, it's mental how durable they are, right? The Ouya slash UJ slash UY stylized as Ouya 5 is an Android based micro console developed by Ouya Incorporated. Julium and founded the project in 2012. Yep. 6 7, bringing in designer Eve Bayar to collaborate on its design 8, and Mufi Gardiali as VP of Product Management 9 to put together the engineering team. 10, development was funded via Kickstarter, raising 8.5 million US dollars. It raised 8.5 turning projects in its history. Units started to ship to Kickstarter backers in 2023. That's mental. So you got your PS2? I bought one recently and then Trish sent me tr sent me hers. And uh, tr Trish's is actually really good because it's a slim one. So that'll be one I'll use up here. Because we're going to stream from it soon. Especially when we play a Yakuza on it. Mate, I remember renting consoles. That is kind of cool though. Yeah, the quest is bottom, right? Extreme Tech found that Uya has a number of serious faults. They mentioned the subpar controller, the connectivity issues, and games which worked flawlessly on smartphones but stuttered on the console. Also, they remarked that there just aren't enough worthwhile games to play. No, there's really not. On May 21st, 2019, Razer released a statement which announced that online accounts and services would be discontinued on June 25th, 2019. According to Razer, most apps will become unusable on the platform. So it's just a brick? You can't do anything with it now? Dude, do you know that you know if you bought a Stardia, you got like a full refund on any game you bought. Yeah, PSP remember DKC, do you remember when the PSP first came out, right? In the UK? They sold, they were like fucking gold dust. You could not get one. I've still got my PSP. Mate, I used to use my PSP. I used to connect to my neighbor's Wi-Fi and watch porn on it as a 14-year-old teenager. It was the only way I could watch porn on my PSP. It was the greatest thing ever. <laughs> Dude, we didn't have Wi-Fi growing up. My neighbor did. And it didn't have a password. And if I sat near my wardrobe, I could get a perfect signal. <laughs> Was it Game Boys? Dude, I had a Game Boy. I had a, um, a Game Boy Advanced. And I had also had a DS. <gasps> Boys, we're about, we're about to go meet Butters. Butters is in this game. Also, I'm going to save scum this part. Because I'm quite scared that we're going to get killed by these. Oh, actually. Oh, no, we're good. We'll do a giga, sw giga squ swing. Dude, I played Pokemon Yellow, um, and Pokemon. Uh, I'm, I played Pokemon Blue more. I had, I reset the time on Pokemon Blue. I played it that much. Soul Calibur Two is probably the best fighting game of its generation. I never played it. 
Is it PS2? Dude, I'm excited to play Street Fighter this week. Me and Tom are going to be playing a lot of uh, Street Fighter this weekend. Fucking run off a bruv. You ready, boys? It's butters. Excuse me. Hmm? Can you tell me how to get to the station? Huh? Nandate? Can you tell me how to get to the station? It's not really butters. I was debating. Ho ho. Ego ka. I'll reply with limited English. <laughs> Don't worry. Huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Can you tell me how to get to the station? Go straight. And turn right. Go go go. This is Buzz. <laughs> Believe. Thank you. Uh, are you English is a good thing. Ah, I got you. Sonny, you're going to correct. Any of you will be my thing. They're more. Are you crying on each other? Go cry about taking it to global Sakai. No, you cremas you. Go, go, go! Go your way! Believe yourself! If Butters ever gets a tattoo, that's gonna be it. Yeah, I played Battle Arena Toshin 3. I played that on PlayStation 1. So it was on PS2. I might have to pick it up. A lot of people say that Soul Calibur was really good. Oh! Paige, is Soul Calibur 2, is that the one that if you got it on the GameCube, you played as Link? Am I correct in saying that? That's the one? I've heard about that game. Who did PlayStation get then? Did PlayStation get anyone cool? Oh, they get someone from Tekken? Okay, I remember now. An Xbox got spawned, yeah. Yeah, Hitachi. Or Hayachi, or whatever his name is. Not Hitachi, that's a TV. Got, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Vader, Vader and Yoda. Mate, imagine being on Xbox and getting Yoda. So if you get a lot of money later on, you can come and boost your stats here. And we'll have a lot of money, so we could possibly try and max everything out. Imagine wanting to play as Bitch Boy Vader. I don't have a gun to shoot you. I'm looking for a gun to shoot you, Druid. I don't have one, sadly. Do you really think that we like Yoda in here? Do think we're a fan of Yoda? Oh my god, I've just seen Rina Hashimoto is gonna suck an army. <laughs> Sukim on me balls, Ken. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs>